We'll see. Yep. What'd you get? <laughs> got so we got a toy, we got a bed set, toddler bed set. Uh, what is that? Electric kettle, uh, microphone, some hard drives. All right, second store of the day. Uh, not the best store. We usually don't really find anything here, but we'll check it out. Hopefully we'll find some goodies today. You gotta see what the colors of the day are. Right, yellow, pink, and white are the colors. And there's half off, and then I think the white, white color of white is a dollar. Just found all of these whole case of them here. Probably about five dollars each for them. Go for about five to ten plus shipping. They're so calms, man. If they'd sell them to us for a dollar each, I'd take them all, but not today. So I thought this was a pretty cool piece. It's like an old grandfather clock. Looks pretty cool. Fifty dollars. Was fifty. Looks like they ended down to thirty-seven ninety-nine. Don't know much about them, but looks pretty cool. I'm gonna grab some plush without comping it just to see how I do. And I'll check with Janelle when I'm done. I have no idea. I'm just grabbing here and we'll see if she thinks I did good.
pink frog. No idea. Maybe? We'll see what she thinks. I'm probably leaving something behind. I'm probably leaving something behind. Friends and Tails Gund. Just talked about Gund. Let's see. I feel like I'm grabbing a lot more than I should. And there she is there. Let's see how I did. How'd I do with these, honey? I did not comp anything. So she put everything back except for the Wedkins and the Moose. I guess I kind of did okay for not camping. She's still digging though. She's still digging. All about that plush. How much are the plush, honey? Um, like 20, 29 cents, 69 cents, and then like two dollars, I think she said, for the big ones. Depending on size, right? Yeah. The biggest is one ninety nine. Yeah, something like that. It's a pretty good price for plush. Yeah. What'd you get? A lot of stuffed animals. Nice. How much? Uh, what did it come to? Twelve dollars? And some wine glasses for ourselves after we broke all the ones we got. I think the wine glass glasses were half the half of it, twelve dollars. Yeah, I think the stuffed animals, like we said, was like sixty-nine cents in that mostly. Very cool. Nice. We'll check it all out back at the treasure chest. Hey, welcome back inside the treasure chest. Here's some things that we picked up last week. Frank and I went to an Amazon bin store and got some things. We went to a Goodwill over the weekend, a couple of Goodwills. And I think we have some things too from, let's see, where else? The Goodwill bins, Frank made a quick trip there. And so a couple different places over the past few days here, we'll show you. I've been saying this is Godzilla, but it's actually King Kong. You wanna get Godzilla? You can, and you can battle them. And they'll sold right there. We found King Kong at the Amazon bin store. We paid $9 for this. It was kind of on top of a bin, like somebody had put it back, so I was a little nervous about it, wondering if it was broken, or wonder if it was broken or something that I wasn't seeing. Frank looked it over, I looked it over, it's got the pieces. This goes for about $33 to $40, so I mean, not huge profit, but you know, for paying $9 for something brand new in the box, and yeah, some good good comps on that. Hi. Next are some bot bed seats. It's gonna say bot seats. Got some superhero toddler bed sheets with a comforter, the sheet, flat sheet, and pillowcase. Uh, new, still in the package here. Found this at the Amazon bin store as well for nine dollars, and that sells for about thirty-two dollars. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find this particular print. The print is different than the, all the ones that are on eBay, but yeah, maybe that's maybe that's good. I have no idea what these are, but they're just boxes, man. Mm, we are moving boxes, moving boxes. All right, we have a couple boxes here. Frank picked these up at the Amazon boxes. bin store. They are external hard drives. Not sure the. Not sure the specs on that. I scanned the barcode and they came up for comps for $39 each. So yeah, Frank found those. This is a moving box. There is a real thing inside it, but I just say it's a moving box. I'm moving. This, I don't know what's in there. This is a red thing. So it's probably a good thing he doesn't know what this is, I guess. It's what are you a talking about? A cigar humidor that Frank picked up. I don't know if he picked oh, this up for personal no. use or to sell. Oh, I couldn't really find oh, this. 
for comps. I, uh, it's Mrs. Brog is the brand. I mean, it is, it is a, you know, legit brand and everything. They have a website and all, but I couldn't find this particular one. There's another, I found a leather cigar pouch by the brand that sold brand new for $35. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know if he bought this for personal use or if we're gonna sell it, but I mean, new in the box and it's pretty nice looking. I don't know what this is, but it's like a coffee fan. It's tea puddle. An electric kettle. I don't even know how to say that brand. Hayden Ian. Hey, yeah. Hayden Ian. <laughs> I don't know. Looked it up. There's comps anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars new in the box. Box has a little bit of damage, but it is still new in there. Uh, paid nine dollars for this at the Amazon bins. Everything that um, we're showing you that we got at the Amazon bins. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. So next, I don't know what it is. It's like a TV remote for nothing, I guess. It's for something. Frank found this at the Amazon bin store as well. <clears throat> Golden Technologies, it's a remote, replacement remote for a lift chair. And it sells for about $90 new, so. I got pretty excited over that. I, I saw it. So the Amazon bin store we got, I think everybody like went over that, didn't even really look at it. And I, you know, I always comp remotes, you know, just laying around like that just to see. And I, I had no clue. I'm like, yeah, you know, so I looked it up and yeah, I seen it from like 70 to $90 and sold comps and I threw that in the cart pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a nice find. Next is a tiny game thing. Front, top, back, bottom, front again. A Super Mario game and watch color screen. I had no idea what this was. I just saw a Super Mario, something with a watch. I scanned it and it came up. Uh, open box, it sold for $30. Brand new, maybe a little bit more. It is open box, so we'll check it and make sure it's all good and everything. And it's not yeah, about even $30 open. or so. We, My, it is not open. Well, it's, this, it's missing the little seal. Next is something I don't know. And I, all I know is they're wires. They're for something. So Janelle's got me talking about this thing because she has no clue what it is and I'm actually the one that found it at the uh, Amazon bin store for $9 on $9 a day. It's uh, just 50 feet of 14.2 Romex. Um, copper is really high right now. I know the value of wire right now. And this is going for about 40 to 50 bucks on eBay. I may probably not sell it actually because I am an electrician. I think this is a mean doll. This is Maxine from, uh, she's in comics and that and different calendars and things. Not <laughs> worth a ton. We found this at Salvation Army where all the stuffed animals were like 49 cents or something, I think. I grabbed it and I forgot it was in the cart to comp it, but it doesn't, it does sell for about $15 and for getting it for 50 cents, that's, that's not bad. So I thought she was funny looking. I like, I like Maxine. These are dogs that I like to play together. Hi, my dog. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. We like to play together. Uh, these are Webkin's Black Poodles. Still new uh, sealed codes there. Got them for that 50 cents. And the Black Poodle sells for about $9 with the new sealed tag. We might end up pairing them up. I've seen that before too, where you can pair up the Webkin's that aren't necessarily worth a ton. And yeah, we'll see. This is a web fin, like monkey. I'm a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. We have another Webkins. This is Cheeky Monkey with, with the new sealed tag still there. And he goes for about $13. Paid 50 cents for him at Salvation Army. I think my sis used to play with Webkins and now we have another one. This is a hedgehog. I'm a hedgehog. Ah, I'm scared. Yep, another Webkins. Mm, hedgehog, yep, hedgehog, Webkins, uh, new what's sealed tag. What's his name? It just says hedgehog, just a hedgehog. But I've never actually seen this one before. Goes for about fifteen dollars with a new sealed tag. Yeah, a lot of Webkins at that Salvation Army. Paid fifty cents for that. Next is a dog. I'm a dog. I hope I get sold. I'm in the fast dog. <laughs> this is a now. Another one I don't really know how to say. Uh, Steve? 
Stife. <laughs> um, that brand is very good for toys, Strath. stuffed animals. That's that's it's a. Called what brand is that again? Stife or Steve? Just one, one more time. What brand is that? Just let them know. I, I want to make sure they know what brand to be looking for. <laughs> what brand not, is it? You're not very nice. How do you think we say it? Well, I don't know. I didn't hear you. What, what brand is it? I don't know. That right there. What, what brand? What's that, that say? That's what you want to look well, for. Well, let them know so they know I, what brand to look for. I let them know. So toys, stuffed what is animals. That? What brand? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is American Kennel Club, made by Stife. <laughs> and uh, Bud, watch out. And this is the white poodle, still new with the tags. I mean, maybe not new, but still has the tags and everything. I think we might have paid 79 cents for that one because it's the next size up. But found that at Salvation Army. Frank actually found that one, and that was that was nice. That one goes for about 50 bucks. Next is a moose. I'm a moose, and I hope I get sold, so I'm someone's pet. We have a moose from Ikea. Let's see what his name is. He's called Strova. There's a little... What's it called? There's a little symbol above the O. So Strova. I don't know how you say that. What's it called? Maybe you gotta roll it or something. Strova. Strova. I don't know, but something like that. He's already, he's got funny legs. We do good on Ikea plush. Yeah. We've, we've sold a lot of Ikea plush. There's actually. some Ikea plush that isn't worth it. I've looked up a lot that aren't, but for some reason, some of them are, are really good. Maybe just the bigger ones, because we've sold the bear a few times too, the big brown bear. So I guess he's probably supposed to be like sitting down like that. He's got shorter back legs than the front legs. I don't know. Another one Frank found, so that was good. And this guy was the biggest out of them. I think, what they say for this, $1.99 for the big, the big plush. And he goes, there's sold comps between $15 and $30 for him. Next is a calculator. So a little before Frankie's time, not really exactly a calculator, but a typewriter. Um, I've seen other YouTubers in that sell typewriters and do very well on typewriters. I comped this in the store. I did test it, but I comped this in the store and I was seeing comps for $50 to $70 working. Now, Janelle just comped this when I got it home. This happens quite often, actually. I don't, I don't know if this happens to you guys as well. Um, comped this at home and we found comps for $30. So, whatever. It, it, I really don't want to ship this for, I mean, I mean, I'm going to ship it now for $30 to get our whatever money we can get out of it after I already bought it. But uh, for 50 to 70 dollars, I was thinking it was worth shipping and selling, but I don't know what the heck comps I was looking at at the store versus what she found here at home, but whatever. I don't know what this is. A guy is gonna eat holding the cracker that one and he's gonna get eaten. Hey buddy, who, who do you think that guy is? What's his name? Blah, blah. No, no, seriously, what's his name? Yeah. What, do you, what do you think that guy's name is? Alligator. Do you think, do you think them are some books or something? What do you think they are? DVDs. DVDs? Oh, okay. Something else a little bit before Frankie's time, we have some VHS of the Crocodile Hunter, still new sealed, paid three fifty at Goodwill for those. There was a, there was a sold comp of one that sold, it was listed for $25 and they took an offer, so I'm not sure what that is. I think we can look on Terra Peak and see, but. Hmm. This is something I don't know. But it's open somehow! I took a stop at the Goodwill Bin store. I do not like the Goodwill Bin store. If you've seen previous videos of me and Jill at the Goodwill Bin store, I avoid it at all costs. But I'm hungry and I want us to make some money through our business and grow and really shoot for that 50% increase in profits this year. So. What? I bit the bullet and went to the Goodwill bin store. What is that? Um, I found a few things. I found a food saver thing. I don't know if it works yet. I haven't tested it because I wanted to get out of there as fast as I could. But uh, cops are cops are around twenty to thirty bucks. I think we paid like three dollars for this thing, so it might be something kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. Next is an Uno card shooter. 
same trip to the Goodwill Bin store. I was only there for maybe 15, 20 minutes tops. Found a little Uno card shooter thing. thing. It had uh, batteries in it already, so I was able to test it and see that it worked. I think I paid less than a dollar for this with the weight. Uh, comps were between, yeah. between 15 and 20 dollars, mm -hmm. and there was quite a few sold for it too, so that'd be kind of cool. Oh, no. Yeah, list that and throw it up there. I think these are do do. I think these are do's. I don't know what they're called though. No. After work today, I stopped at a Amazon bin store, it's a second store in our area. And on Monday evenings, they do a uh, $2 a day. It's from their two, they do two $8 days where they restock the bins. And then Mondays are $2 days. So I went there right after work. They opened at four o'clock. So I was able to get there right after work and uh, go through the bins. And not, not a ton of stuff. It's real hit and miss. But I actually have fun finding stuff that everybody goes past and doesn't bother looking at. I found um, a couple filters. They're uh, Sub-Zero water filters. I believe they're for refrigerators. And they each go for about $30 in comps. So $60 there, and I paid $2 each, $4. And then I also found this uh, light stand pole thing. I guess it, it's all broken up into pieces, but it stands like 10 feet tall, and it holds uh, string lights for outside, I believe, or inside, wherever for that matter. And the comps for this were right around 40 50 bucks and this was another thing that was just sitting in the bins just that everybody was walking past and nobody even really knew what it was and uh so that's kind of cool again i was only there for maybe 20 minutes or so i'm not like janelle i don't like hanging out in the stores for too long all right second part of our video is going to be some stuff that's sold so we got a total of 18 things to get through for you and we'll try to whip through these as quick as possible but we've been wanting to throw a what sold segment into all of our videos so you guys can see that this stuff actually does sell. I mean, we talk about it, we say it sells for this stuff, but if we're not showing it to you, then who knows it really sells? Record. So we sold a total of five records in this haul that we're sending out tonight that I'm packing up. But the first one is a Walt Disney Productions Mouser Size with Booklet record. It's got a little booklet in there. Uh, out the door for $9.40 plus shipping. Record. <laughs> This has been listed for quite a while, and I'm surprised it didn't sell quicker. Journey Frontiers record. It uh, got some damage to the cover, so we priced it accordingly. Out the door for $12.99 plus shipping. It's a house with a bunch of mushrooms living in it. So you probably saw this in our last video. It's a Smurf house sold for $19.90 plus shipping, and she just listed that. I think we got another one to sell yet, too. Record. Another record. It's a John Lennon record, Yoko One. I uh, had that listed since October. It's out the door for $9.95. It's a kit. An embroidery kit. Been listed since August, actually, and that's out the door for $38.99. It's a tube. Sold a ceramic replacement uh, filter cartridge. It's for... I think it's for a fridge, right? Water filter for a fridge? Maybe. I'm not sure. Had they listed since June. Um, I was paranoid. I don't know. I get paranoid about listing filters for Vero. Vero. Uh, Janelle said it was not, though, and it was good to list. So, but that's out the door for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a costume. So this is a baseball costume. We've had that listed since August, actually. Uh, kind of funny that it this sold outside of Halloween. It's it's strange. We actually sell Halloween stuff year round, but that's out the door for twenty five dollars uh, plus shipping. Did you take an offer on that, honey? Is that one of the Usually, if it's an even number, it's from an offer. Little thing, I don't know. <laughs> Little royal royal tape tapestry. Is that what you say? Tapestry. Tapestry. Yeah. tapestry. Uh, little change purse out the door for fourteen dollars plus shipping. Had that since November of last year. It's a Skylanders Amiibo. You actually need these to play the game. So it's a Skylanders action figure thing uh, for the Wii, Xbox, or whatever you use it on. Got a bunch of these, as you saw in the previous videos, out the door for $5.99, so another one of them. I spent a Saturday afternoon listing 
old mess load of these. I, I don't know, I might have listed like 10 of these or so. We got free lotion bottles. Sold another lot of our vintage Avon lotions. You've seen in a previous video, I told you we bought a bunch of these at a sale that we divided up and uh, sorted out by flavors. And I did that as you can see, we've had them listed since August. Mm -hmm. I've been lowering the price on them, so now we're finally moving them. And that's out the door for $12.99 plus shipping. Next is a glass mug. I thought I sold all these already. I guess we still have a few left. Bought a bunch of these. Uh, well, it had to be last September of 2020 because that's when we had them listed. Uh, bought a whole box of these at a garage sale for a couple bucks each. And we've been selling them for about $7 each. This is out the door for $5 each because I've lowered the price on all these because I want them gone. I'm worried about them sitting in the bins too long and breaking and just, it, they're time to go. We've made our money on them. We've sold all the ones that were, you know, sought after, so to speak, I guess. So I just, I'd like to clear them out and get some other stuff in that's going to sell before these break or something happens to them. Next is a real one that spins. No, it spins. It spins. A little folding six foot ruler. I bought this in an estate sale, I think for like a buck or something. Uh, back last December of 2020 actually is when we listed it. So very good condition. I had two of these. Um, I got them just to see how fast they would sell and they didn't sell fast. So I probably won't buy these again, but that's out the door for $7.99 plus shipping. Next thing I think is sent to the flashlight. Flash! It's not a flashlight. I actually just picked this up uh, a week ago. Was it a week ago? To me, two weeks ago because I had COVID last week, so we were out of commission last week. It was actually two weeks ago. It's a uh, drain stopper for a sink. I found this at Dollar Day at the Amazon bin store that I stopped at after work. Another item that everybody's walking past, and I seen it laying there. I knew what it was. Um, it's actually all brass or made of all metal, so it's, it's heavy duty. It's not plastic. It's like a commercial grade drain stopper thing. It's the push down kind. Oh, it was kind of cool. I liked it. Uh, but yeah, out the door for $9.99, so not bad for a buck. A little bit of profit there. Next is some type of pet thing. You can get a pet, I think. I do not know. We sold a lot of these, actually. Uh, Janelle keeps finding them. We can list them. This is actually sold, uh, I'm sorry, this was actually listed since August. We must have had it priced kind of high, but we've sold these before. They're uh, the Mebas. Uh, there's, I think there's a plush that goes inside here. It's a little electronic tube thing. But that's out the door for $22.99, so not a bad profit. I'm sure she got this for like a buck or something, a couple bucks, so. Record. Another uh, record. I had this listed since uh, November, so just a couple months. I actually listed this kind of high, $14.99 out the door for. It's Love Unlimited High Steppin'. Uh, I think it's a hip hop record, if I remember. We tested it, I don't remember what it was. That might be new. Was that Is one new? new? One of them was new no, sealed. No, this one isn't new. This, I this... thought we had one like that that was new sealed still. No, this is definitely not new. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Disco single, <laughs> not hip hop. Whatever, I never heard of it. I comped it out, it was going for 12, 15 bucks, so I listed it for 14.99 and it's old, so cool. Oh, now you heard of it. This is an action figure with metal on his face. Do you know who he is? No. You don't know who that is? No. Take a good look at him. Who do you think he is? This is... Before Frankie's time, one of my favorite movies actually as a kid. Uh, Terminator. Terminator 2. He's got the little power arm thing or whatever it is. I don't know. Uh, this came out of our big lot of uh, action figures that we will probably lose money on and if we don't It'll take us a very long time to make our money back, but and that's simply because we've just been lazy on re on listing them um, They're a bunch of five ten dollar figures, and we just haven't really put a lot of effort into getting them all listed, but uh, Sold this for $11.99 plus shipping record. It's a Ronnie Millisp Mil Millsip? Greatest Hits record. Right. It's out the door for $7 plus shipping. You took an offer on that? I list records for generally $7.95. I might have sent the offer. Oh, for seven bucks, okay, cool. I think it is Pokemon. Final Fantasy figures. Uh, it's one figure. Oh, that's one figure? Yep, they're all stuck together. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, this little thing here. 
$35 plus shipping. So that'll be a nice, nice little sale. Just know that that's not one day of sales. That's from the whole weekend. Right now we're Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Monday evening, but all this stuff's going out Tuesday morning. So it's everything from Friday evening till Tuesday morning. Or Friday Monday. morning. Friday morning to Monday night. Thank you. Thank you, honey. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah. Thank you. So sales have been sold for us. We usually do a little better than that, but we'll take whatever we get. Uh, we're, we're blessed to, to get whatever sales we get, and we're happy with what we get with the effort we put in. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys had fun seeing our haul, seeing some of the stuff that sold. Um, I'm, we're going to try to get more... We're gonna try to get more footage of in the field of us digging through the bins and finding the stuff. We've been playing around with the cameras a bit, trying to find good angles, good ways to uh, film each other. We don't wanna just strap a camera on and show you guys a bunch of shoes and, you know, our shoes anyway, and the floor and odd angles. We're trying, we're trying to perfect that. We're trying to get good quality footage of us out there in the field digging for that, but we'll see what we come up with that. So, uh, if you haven't had your fix, I'll post a couple more videos up there for you guys to watch. And if you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to be alerted on when more stuff comes out, subscribe, and we'll let you. It'll let you know when more videos drop. So, thanks for hanging out with us. See ya. Thanks for watching.